What is this? Who news videos in one week? That is madness. That is blasphemy. And that is crazy. However, there was a good reason for it. Because two things that we've had an EA play. EA did a play. And, well, it was kind of meh. There wasn't a whole lot of good stuff. But what there was, in terms of good stuff, was... The announcement that Doctor Who, The Edge of Reality, will be releasing this September. September 30th, which is, I believe, a Thursday. Let me check that. Let me just check that. Yep. Yep, there's a Thursday. Thursday, September 30th of this year, Doctor Who, The Edge of Reality, releases on Xbox One, Xbox Series S, Series X, PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. I am beyond excited for this. Beyond excited by this. And there is two reasons why I'm beyond excited by this. Well, the first reason is it's Doctor Who. And I fucking love Doctor Who. Genuinely, Doctor Who is my shit. Second reason I'm super excited by this is Chris Chibnall has not written this story. It is a Chris Chibnall free zone. So the worst thing about the current series of Doctor Who, its writer, has no involvement in this game. And also in this game, you... I don't know much about the story, but I do know that it features both Jodie, David Tennant, as you can see from this little bit here, it shows Jodie, David Tennant, some Cybermen, some Dark, some Weeping Angels. This looks really good. I'm really excited to play this. And I cannot wait until this game releases on September 30th and I can give this game a go. Because I am so, so excited to play this game. Now, admittedly, it might be shit. You know, we don't know whether it's going to be good or not yet. But, I'm excited because it's Doctor Who. And I love Doctor Who. And because there's no Chris Chibnall. Which just makes it so much better. It really, really, really does. It is genuinely... A really good thing to know that Chris Chibnall has no involvement in this. But moving swiftly on, EA Play was a piece of shit. And the only real good stuff to come out of EA Play was the announcement that EA and Codemasters are working on the next Grid game called Grid Legends. Which I will say, the cities look absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely fucking gorgeous. Genuinely look absolutely gorgeous again. And one of the other things we got is the fact that Grid will have a fully voiced story where you control a driver going through the Grid World series. Which genuinely sounds really nice and really cool. Like, that just sounds cool. Like, you're not just going around just racing anymore. Like, I'm loving, like, you know, this kind of style of stuff. Like, they've done it for F1 with break... With, you know, breaking point. And it's different and it's so cool. And the other thing is, with Grid Legends, is there is no limits to how you can race. Literally no limits. If you want to put... If you get Veyron in a race with a truck, you can do so. If you want to put a race of like trucks and minis together, you can do that. There is so much in this game for potentially interesting stuff. It is different. For the grid franchise and i think it it looks and sounds really really cool their story mode that they're doing sounds really cool and just the ability to race in races whatever you want with no restrictions sounds amazing 
Like, that sounds like it could be a really fun challenge. That's like a YouTube series questioning whether a truck could win a race against a Bugatti Veyron and you could maybe give like a truck a head start or something. Like, it just sounds really different and really, really cool. And I'm actually kind of excited to play it. Like, genuinely am. We do have to wait till next year, however. We don't have a set release date. We just know that it comes out in 2022. When in 2022, we don't know. But at some point next year, Grid Legends will be releasing. I've also forgotten his name. But they announced that the main protagonist voice actor for this was actually in Netflix, the recent Netflix TV series. I've forgotten the name of, and also the actor's names escaped me, which is bugging me. But Grid Legends will release in 2022. We also don't know where it's releasing either yet. We haven't been told where it's releasing or what it's releasing for. We don't know. The only other thing that really got me excited during EA Play was the announcement that Battlefield 2042 is going to have something absolutely incredible. It is going to have a little feature called the Battlefield portal and the battlefield portal is literally just a sandbox mode where you get to go in and customize everything and make your own game modes like literally you can make your own game mode in this it sounds really really cool like just the ability to make your own little like game modes in this that's really cool like, that's really cool. And what makes it even better is Battlefield Portal will be available on launch. So when Battlefield 2042 launches, this will be there day one. Which I think is even better. And they also did announce that all your favourite maps from all the old Battlefield games will be returning along with some new maps. But what you can do in Battlefield Portal is you can actually make like your own maps from like the best bits of all the existing maps. So if you've got like five favorite maps for particular buildings or particular parts of that map, you can actually go ahead and put them together into one map within Battlefield Portal. Battlefield Portal also lets you change the weather on maps, gives you events that you can add, so like plane crashes. It lets you customize the way vehicles look, and it actually lets you change as well, like what weapons like you can have. Like You can have a team of every where everybody's got defibrillators, and you can just make the stupidest fucking thing. Like You could just make the stupidest fucking thing if you wanted to. Like, it is the most beautiful thing. Like, it is genuinely the most beautiful thing. It is full-on customization. Like, there's still going to be, like, obviously, like, a main story to it. Like, yeah, there's still going to be a main story to it, and that's not going to change. Like, that's not going to change. There is still going to be a main story to this. But... Just this element alone of being able to completely customise, you know, maps and what weapons can be used and the characters that appear and the story that appears in your maps and what goes on and vehicles and all that kind of stuff is just beautiful. And also being able to customise like the weather and random events and stuff like this is really really good sounding uh, really really good sounding 
Like Battlefield 2042 already sounded, from what we'd show, been shown before, really, really good and had a potential to be the best Battlefield game ever made. But this is just making it even, even better than it already was. This is beautiful. It, it, it looks like stupid... F it genuinely just looks like the stupidest, funnest thing ever. Because it's giving you full-on creativity to do whatever you want. And I love the sounds of this. Like, I love when games do this. Like, I love when games do this. Like, they give you full creativity to do whatever you want. Like, this is genuinely, genuinely amazing. And I really, really love how beautiful this sounds like. It sounds so stupid and so silly. But that's exactly what I want. It's just stupid fun. Like being able to go in and create such stupid shit just sounds beautifully amazing. Uh, I cannot wait to dive into Battlefield Portal when Battlefield 2042 releases and check out some you know, levels made by the community but also make my own levels and you know, my own sort of stories and stuff. This is going to be really, really good. And really, really cool. But now, I'm going to go off and play the best video game, Mini Metro. Which if you haven't yet played, if you haven't yet played Mini Metro or Mini Motorways, what is wrong with you, you stupid bastard? Go to Steam, download them both. Right now, they are the best games ever. Seriously, go download them. They're the best games in the entire world. I mean it. They're the best games in the entire world. And you know it. Like, you know it. They're the best games in the entire world, and you know it. So if you haven't downloaded them yet, go to Steam, download them right now. I command you.